Talisa tends to a wounded Lannister soldier after the Battle of Oxcross, finding that his foot needs to be amputated. King Robb Stark aids her by holding the man down and giving him a gag to bite on, pointing out that it's better than biting his tongue. After the operation Talisa criticizes Robb for fighting to usurp the crown without having a replacement king, Robb states he is yet to win. Talisa also points out that the wounded soldier was a fisherman's son who had been conscripted, like many others, into the Lannister army and that the forces Robb's army defeated weren't trained soldiers for the most part. As she leaves, Robb tells Talisa that the soldier was lucky she was there to save him and she responds by saying it was unlucky for the soldier that Robb was. Talisa follows Robb Stark's army camp as it moves. Robb introduces her to his mother Caitlin Stark, and when she asks about her family, Talisa says that their name is, Miger. Talisa says that being from Volantis, she isn't familiar with the titles of nobility used in the Seven Kingdoms. Rob watches Talisa as she leaves and Caitlin reminds him that he is not free to love where he will. After a meeting with his bannerman, Talisa seeks Rob out to ask for more medical supplies. She has heard Rob is about to leave for the crag to negotiate a surrender, which has the things she needs. She wants to write a list to send to the crag's maester, but Rob suggests she should come with him and get the supplies herself. In their absence, during a fiery exchange of words between Rickard Karstark and Caitlin, the former refers to Talisa as, that foreign bitch. On their way back they discuss Rob's father and the lessons he taught Rob about caring for his subjects. They are interrupted by news that Caitlin has released Jamie Lannister. Talisa later goes to comfort Rob. After she reveals more of her past to him they admit their shared feelings for one another and have sex. Rob talks to his mother about Talisa. Caitlin says that she and Eddard were an arranged marriage, they barely knew each other, and yet found happiness together. However, Rob wants more than that possibility. Talisa and Rob marry in secret before a septon, pledging their lives to each other.